up muggles, how's it going? It's Sophie, I am back with another video. So as you guys are aware, I love collecting- Ow! As you guys are aware, you can tell that I love collecting Harry Potter stuff. Flip, that's the second time! As you guys are aware, I love collecting Harry Potter stuff. But the one thing I've always struggled with collecting and knowing if it's worth it or not is wands. I've never been interested in collecting wands that much, they don't have much interest to me. I think just because of the size and the price of them. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do like videos comparing stuff like, you know, an eBay dress for £10 versus this million dollar prom dress for... I, I don't watch those sort of videos, I don't know why I had that as an example. I, do I look like someone who watches dress reviews? But you know what I mean, like they compare the two. But because this is a Harry Potter channel, I'm comparing a Noble Collection wand to an eBay wand. I have two wands here and a lot of you guys are interested whether there is a big difference. So I brought this one on eBay and I bought it for I think it was £4.67. This is one of the cheapest Lord Voldemort wands I could get. And this one right here is the Noble Collection Ollivander's wand. This one was actually sent free to me by the Noble Collection as a gift, but that is not gonna change anything. All opinions are of my own. They haven't asked me to do this video. I'm gonna be 100% honest and true with my review. And I was gonna buy this anyway, you know, if it wasn't for them sending me it, I was gonna buy it anyway because I wanted Lord Voldemort's wand. I've got to mention, this is £30 on the Noble Collection, so there's a £25 price gap between these two wands. I'm gonna give you close-up shots, I'm gonna show you the detail, I'm gonna talk about the detail, I'm gonna talk about the weight, the size, anything that I can think of and see if it actually is any difference and if you should go with this one or that one or if it's just down to personal opinions. So let's compare these two wands. All right, so here we have the two wands and I'm gonna show you the box. So this is how the eBay wand box is shown. It's just a picture of Harry and a picture of Voldemort saying Harry Potter. On the side, we've got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is the back of the box. This is how it opens. It has this little side bit here and it folds up like that. These marks here were actually here when it got delivered. I don't know if that's the paint or what happened to it, but I don't know if this would happen to yours or if this happens quite a lot with their wands, but yeah, that happened. Please note, this bit's actually really annoying because like when you're trying to display it on your wall or whatever, if you want to keep it in the box, it's quite hard to because that falls down like that. It comes in this orange felt and it's rather spongy. So that is the casing for the eBay wand. The Noble Collection wand is a lot different. It's a lot more heavier and it feels a bit more sturdy. This is the Ollivander's one. So you actually have the actual Ollivander's sign on each side. You open it up as so. And the layout of the inside is exactly like you see in the movies. Ollivander's got the little felt bits that you peel back. It's a lot more fancy layout than the eBay wand. It comes with this little note here saying products inspired by the world of Harry Potter. This document certifies that this enclosed wand is an authentic replica from the Warner Brothers Pictures Harry Potter film. Please enjoy this unique offering from the Noble Collection. So this is basically saying, you know, this is the real deal. So to a lot of collectors, this little note actually means a lot to them. This is a lot more silky and you can actually see the wand is deeper in and more wrapped up. So that is the box for the Noble Collection wand. If we now put the two together, you can see there is a massive difference for the wand. The big thing being the colour. If you actually look at Lord Voldemort's wand in the movie, this is the actual colour. It is like a gone off white, not a pure white like we see here. I think the reason why they chose that white was because it's a lot cheaper to do. There's not like tones on there or anything, whereas this is different tones. As you can see, it goes throughout the wand. It's not just one basic colour with this, it's just one basic white colour. The wand sizes are very similar, this one is just a slightly bit taller as you can see there. In the eBay one there's actually a slight bend which is really irritating, I don't know if anyone can see that. And with the Noble Collection wand it actually goes from thickness to a point, whereas the eBay wand has just a thickness all the way up and it doesn't get smaller. As you can see, these points are very similar, but also very different at the same time. As you can see, these are very sharp curves and look a bit wavy, whereas these look a bit more bony and, like, not so pointy. The back is very similar, I don't see a problem with that. But with the lines, there's no different in colour, whereas this, there is a different in colour where there is lines. The spots, these ones are very harsh, just little dots, whereas this one actually takes detail within the spots and they're all different sizes, whereas this, they're all similar, same sizes. The eBay wand is actually a lot more heavier than the Noble Collection wand, but I think it's due to the handle being a very hard wood. When I put them next to each other like this, you can see the colour is a massive difference. I think this is more noticeable with the Lord Voldemort one because we do have a white one and then we have an off-white one. If I was comparing the Snape one, for example, with an eBay Snape one and a Noble Collection Snape one, it would be less obvious because they're both black. Because this is such a unique colour, it's very hard to do off in a cheap version. 
and just sit back and think. I think it's down to personal opinions, but this is £25 difference between these two ones. I personally can see the difference a lot because I'm a very extreme Harry Potter fan and I love having perfect replicas but just to a normal harry potter fan they may not see the detail and that is it for the review guys if you guys enjoyed them please give it a big thumbs up for me if you want me to do this with future ones like not lord voldemort ones you know do the elder wand or snape's wand any other ones because these are completely different whereas other ones may not be different overall i just think it depends on your personal opinion for me i would want to go for the detail as i love it being exactly like it is in the movie for me i would always go for noble collection but then if you just want to get all of them and you don't really care about the quality of the wand and it has a present for a harry potter fan who isn't an extreme harry potter fan who just wants a wand then it's a very good gift but for extreme harry potter fans who concentrate on detail and actually get really excited for replicas and stuff and then go for the noble collection make sure you hit that subscribe button to not miss any future harry potter videos and in the comments down below let me know if you want me to do this again or if you want to see my wand collection i've actually got quite a lot of wands now so if you want me to do a wand collection video let me know i love you guys so much if you want to subscribe to my channel you can do by clicking up here you can see my latest video by clicking here my social media links are down there so you can see what a wizard gets up to in a muggle world and my merchandise store is down here so go buy something i love you guys so much and i'll see you soon Bye.